We're gonna tell you what you need to know before you hike the Notch Trail. Put the Badlands on the list. King of the Mountain. Hey, you guys. Thanks for joining us on another journey. Today, we're in South Dakota at the Badlands National Park. If you're new to the channel, this is April and I'm Wayne. We do a video every Thursday. So sit back, relax, and enjoy, enjoy the, the journey. journey. Yeah, what you're gonna wanna do is put the notch hike with the door, casual walk. You'll go to the boardwalk on the door hike. Once you get done with that, you can just hike out as far as you want, but Keep in mind, you're hiking at your own risk. Not trail, rough terrain. Trail can be treacherous during and after heavy rains. I think it's gonna be treacherous for me no matter what. Pack out all trash, leave all natural objects in place. Pets and bicycles are not permitted. It's only a 1.5 out and back. Shouldn't be too bad. This place is no joke. Do not show up here with tennis shoes and flip flops. We have watched so many people fall on one hike so unlike most of the national parks, the Badlands is an open hike. You can hike wherever you want. So you don't have to stay on the trail in this one. So you get to explore wherever you want. But all the other national parks stay on the trail. Unless otherwise specified. Now you see all these white sticker, black pole. See how they go from pole to pole. That helps you keep on your trail and not get lost. Also stop by the visitor center and grab you a map. I always like it when you get on a trail and you have some different obstacles. Easy for you to say, I'm over here with fear of heights. Use the wood, just walk on top of the wood. You should be able to do it much easier. It's not flat, so how do you not hold on to something? Oh my God, this is hot. <sighs> we made it to the top. Not too bad. No, that was not easy. It's 86 degrees today, slight wind. Still feels hot though. Very hot, because we're out in the, the bleak. And look at this. We are completely on the moon's surface. Looks like the moon feels like the sun. And at this park, I would probably suggest at least, at least a liter or two liters per person for just an hour, two hour hike. We've been going through some water. It is hot. April managed to find the only piece of shade. You're worried about this, aren't you? Of course I am. I'm gonna go down the stairs now. Let's see if I can make it without dying. Aren't I there yet? Just stand up, you're good. Aren't I there? Yeah, just stand up. I can't. Turn around. If you don't think you have good enough balance and you can't walk around oh. standing on top of them, where you have to put your hands on the actual wood as you're coming down, you might want to bring some gloves with you because it is blazing hot. The common mistake people are doing when they come down, they come down along the side right here and they slide all the way to the bottom. Stay on the ladder. My hands, I burned them, totally burned them. You should have brought some gloves, huh? I don't know which is worse, that or climbing that temple in Pyramid in Mexico. Remember that? Oh was, no, that was way worse than I this. think that was. It was easier coming down that, I think, though, than the pyramid because I went down face forward that one.
notch trail we had to take an easy route and go do the boardwalk for the door hike. It leads to the broken landscape that earned this area the name Badlands. Over time, water sliced through the earth around you, exposing sedimentary rock layers. These layers continue to erode today into dramatic canyons and spires. When the Lakota looked on the land around you, they saw the Paha Ska, White Hills, a place of bountiful hunting. Historically used for transitory camps, the Paha Ska and their western counterpart, the Paha Sapa, the Black Hills, lie in the heart of Lakota treaty land set aside in 1868. French trappers in the mid 1700s, frustrated by the land's sharp peaks and crumbling rock, regarded the area as badlands. The Lakota also began calling this place Mako Sika Land Bad. We want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank you for living life.